My name is Mark Kolobaba and I'm the President and CEO of Uranium North Resources. Uh, we've got a number of uranium projects, but in addition to that, we've also got a number of gold projects. Mallory Lake Gold Project is, is what I'm highlighting in this video. In case I make any forward-looking statements, uh, here's a cautionary statement for you. Now, Mallory is located in Nunavut. Nunavut is a place where you've got settled land. I think it's a very good place to work. It might be remote, but it's also very much underexplored and there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, Nunavut is also, it's also a developing mining district. You've got a number of new deposits here. For starters, Agnika Weagle put in a, a mine last year in 2010 called the Meadowbank deposit. That's a 3.2 million ounce deposit. Uh, Newmont is putting in a 9 million ounce deposit. And Agnico Eagle also owns a 5 million ounce deposit called the Meliodine deposit. Now the Mallory Lake uh, project is just a little bit south of Baker Lake by about 130 kilometers. Uh, it's very well located in Nunavut. Along with the developing mining district, we're also seeing a lot of developing infrastructure. Uh, the Mallory Lake project is high grade gold and silver and, it's, and, and the, the mineralization occurs in quartz veins within volcanic rocks. This is the claim block for Mallory and you can see it's very well marked by gold grains in till samples. And what you see here are a number of gold grains around the Mallory mineralization. And within these gold grain anomalies, we're seeing a lot of pristine and modified grains telling us we're very close to the, to the source. And using that data, you can see across Mallory, we've got a number of occurrences of gold grains that need to be explored as well in the future. But right now, let's just focus on the main project at Mallory. And this is the main project as we focus in. You'll see that we've got four outcrop areas that have quartz veining within the volcanic rocks. These, are, these quartz veins are mineralized and surrounding the, these outcrop areas, you've got overburden cover. To explore off the outcrop areas themselves, we have to depend on geophysical data. This is a good example of some of the data that we've got for the project. It's resistivity. Resistivity is showing zones of low conductivity in the rocks caused by, in this case, we hope silica. Silica or quartz is a very good insulator. On Mallory, gold is associated with silica and quartz. So we're, we're seeing resistivity highs. We're hoping that these areas are marked by an intense alteration of silica. As I mentioned, we've got four areas with outcrop exposure. Uh, the western zone, the stock work, the tundra zone, and 17 vein. I'll walk you through those quickly. But overall, this is the drill program that we, that we are undertaking. And I'll walk you through starting off with the stock work zone. We've got five drill holes going into the stock work zone. First of all, you'll see drill holes 9 and 10 are going directly through the resistivity anomaly. But more importantly, drill holes one and two are going through the exposed bedrock. And you'll see in the photograph where we're getting the quartz veining, it's a very extensive outcrop. We see a lot of quartz veining. The second photograph shows the, the size of these quartz veins. These can be anywhere from less than a meter up to 10 meters wide. Gold within the quartz vein is running anywhere from say 1.6 grams per ton to just under six grams per ton. But we also get some very high numbers in the order of 33 grams per ton. And in many cases, silver occurs with the gold on a nearly one to one ratio. Next, we go to the tundra zone. Here we've got two drill holes in, and I, and I think the tundra is part of the, the stock work. If you look at the photograph, you'll see the tundra zone does not have a lot of outcrop exposure. It's, it's got a lot of boulders, a lot of quartz vein material just showing up in the overburden. Uh, these two drill holes will determine what kind of mineralization we have under the overburden, but also it'll show if the tundra zone is connected to the stock work or not. Veins in this part of the project run from anywhere from two grams up to about six grams per ton. The next zone is called the 17 vein. And the 17 vein, we get very high gold and very high silver numbers. Uh, from grab samples, we're getting in the order of 54 grams per ton gold with 272 grams per ton silver. Very different from the other areas we looked at. Here we're getting not a one to one ratio, but a one to five ratio between gold and silver. The first drill hole goes across the 17 vein, and you can see from this photograph, the, vein, the outcrop is very small and not very extensive, and there's a lot of overburden cover around it. That first drill hole will determine how wide the 17 vein is. Also, uh, with the 17 vein, we've got this high gold-silver mineralization, but we also have uh, an, an additional resistivity anomaly, and it starts to trend. You can see tr it trending off towards the southwest. Drill hole number five will test that anomaly. It'll drill across that to see is the 17 vein extending in that direction. The next area is called the western zone. The western zone, we believe, is an extension of the stock work zone. Here you're getting 8.6 grams per ton gold with 6.7 grams per ton silver from a vein that's about three meters wide. In addition to that, 
other veins, we're seeing uh, gold in the order of 2.9 grams per ton along with 10.7 grams per ton silver. Here you're seeing that 1 to 4, 1 to 5 ratio with silver again, uh, similar to what we saw in the 17 vein. So we've got one drill hole going across this to look at these series of veins to see if we do have an extension from the stock work and just to see if we've got some similarities to the 17 vein. Uh, based on success of this drill program, we have an 11th hole planned for this program. It's called the Southern Extension. There is no outcrop in this area. This is an anomaly that is based purely on geophysics. And what we think is happening here is we think we've got an entirely new zone starting that's just on the edge of the map. So one, we'll drill this and, and secondly, we'll do a little bit more geophysics to see if there is an extension of the of the mineralization. And just in summary, Mallory is a high-grade gold-silver project. We've got five zones defined. Mallory is just one of three projects the company is drilling this year in 2011. We've got about $8 million in the Treasury. We're trading at nearly cash value, uh, so I think that's a really good opportunity. To learn more about these opportunities, you can check out www.uraniumnorth.com. Uh, we also trade on the TSX Venture Exchange under the trade symbol UNR. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.